so today I'm going to do a completely different type of video. I know I've been giving you all the care videos lately and they're very informative, but I think I should do some more fun videos just to make it a little bit more exciting. And I have Booger with me for today, so she's going to be joining us. So my friend had a very fun idea and she suggested I make a video on what type of a zodiac sign each lizard would be, basically based on their personalities, and I thought it could be kind of fun. So this is just completely opinionated, and I'm gonna let you know what I think. So to start off, um, Aries is the very first sign that we'll be talking about. So Aries are known to be like very fierce, like warriors, very independent, and they just don't take any crap. And so I think that the Aries of lizards would be an iguana, because they are just, number one on the list they're amazing they get huge they don't take any crap whatsoever they'll tail whip you they'll bite you they'll do whatever they need to do to get their point across and they're just leaders i think that they're just like the number one classic reptile that you think of when you think of a lizard so i think that they best represent an aries sign 100 percent the next up is taurus and that's actually my zodiac sign and i thought it was really easy to pick this one because Tauruses are known to be very lazy, they love to be comfortable, they love their food, and the perfect lizard, I think, for that sign would have to be a bearded dragon. Bearded dragons absolutely love to just hang out and chill, not really do much, and they absolutely love their food. They eat a very, very diet, and they are just amazing animals, and I can totally relate to them. Maybe it's why I love them so much. Um, dude's always just chilling in his hammock and that's my way of life. I totally understand and I can relate to him. So yeah, Taurus is a bearded dragon. Next on the list is Gemini and for Gemini I picked the water dragon and that is because they are very social. Geminis are known to just like love people, be entertaining and that is the water dragon for me. So water dragons are like the one type of animal that you'd see at like a pet store where they're just like totally staring at you. They seem like they love people. They're just entertaining, super quirky, and just very social animals. So I would pick them for Gemini 100% because that's how Geminis are. They love being social and they love people. For the most part, this is just my opinions on what I've seen. So yeah, that's what I would pick for Gemini. For Cancer, I chose Lichianus Gecko, just like Booger, and I chose that because Cancers are known to be very moody and they can be really chill one moment and then really feisty and aggressive the next moment, and Lychees can be that way. A lot of times you'll see them at shows and they're very, very chill. They're awesome animals. Um, they do typically just like to be left alone and they can be territorial and get a little bit moody and some are really really vocal and just start like barking at you or biting so I think that that fits the cancer role pretty well so next on the list is a Leo for Leo I would choose a chameleon because Leo's love being the center of attention and they're very much about their appearance and I feel like that's how chameleons are they can be a little bit moody too so that's definitely chameleons but um, they're just showstoppers like everyone loves chameleons and everyone loves Leo's that's just how it goes So for Virgo this one's really funny. I chose leopard geckos for Virgo because Virgos are known to be very tidy organized clean people and I chose leopard geckos because I think that they are the most clean uh, lizards that you could possibly get um, they eat their own sheds and they literally poop in one corner of the enclosure. It's like their bathroom. So they are definitely the cleanest lizards of all. So yeah, I think that they would fit really well for the Virgo sign. So for Libra, I picked the collared lizard because they're just very harmonious creatures, very fair-minded. Um, they're just very pleasant people. That's how Libras are anyway. And I think that collared lizards are the same way. They're just beautiful and they're just very peaceful animals and Libras are peaceful people, so I don't know. It just popped into my head when I thought of a Libra, so that's what I picked. So next on the list is Scorpio, and this sign can be a little snappy and hard to read and moody, and I think that that pretty much sums up a Tokay Gecko because they seem really chill and fine, but then the next moment they're trying to bite your face off. So yeah, I think that that perfectly describes a Tokay Gecko. Next on the list is a Capricorn, and for Capricorn, I chose a Blue Tongue Skink. Um, Capricorns are known to be very determined, and I think that 
blue tongue skinks are very food determined like it's really funny watching my blue tongue try to eat out of a bowl because they literally try to eat the bowl but they don't give up ever so that's definitely a capricorn quality another thing about capricorns is that they're overall just very harmless and i think that that's how blue tongue skinks are they're just like a lot of talk if anything but they're never gonna really hurt anyone or do anything bad and that's like a capricorn oh i skipped sagittarius on accident and this actually works out perfectly because for this video i decided to take booger out because booger's being chill um, I was going to show you my new crested gecko, but she was jumping all over the place and then proceeded to bite me. So, um, crested gecko is actually going to be for Sagittarius, and it is because Sagittarius are just very unique, eccentric, and they love to always be moving. And my boyfriend is a Sagittarius, and he does not like to sit in one spot like I do because I'm a Taurus. So, I mean... Crested geckos are all jumpy and they want to keep going and just move around and that's definitely a Sagittarius. So yeah. For the Aquarius, I chose a day gecko and Aquarius signs are known to be very intelligent, unpredictable, and energetic and that is exactly how I would describe a day gecko. They are so, so fast and I think that they're unpredictable in their movements. Maybe it's because I'm not too familiar with them but they're just so unbelievably fast. And they're so gorgeous and so unique and I feel like Aquariuses are always very unique so I just had to choose that for Aquarius. So last on the list is a Pisces and for a Pisces I chose a frilled dragon. Um, the Pisces are known to be very sensitive, they make their feelings like very aware to everyone else and frilled dragons do the same thing. They have their frill and they let people know when they're upset and what's going on and they're very sensitive I think and I can totally see them being a Pisces for sure. So that's why I chose them for Pisces. So that's all the zodiac signs. Let me know what you think, leave a comment, and have a wonderful day.